The Toronto Maple Leafs are one of the most cursed franchises in all of hockey. Having last won a cup in 1967, the team's embarrassing 56-year cup drought is the longest active drought in the league as of today. After 2004 and until 2023, the Leafs would make the playoffs seven times, and within those seven appearances, they'd fail to win a single playoff series. Their 19-year winless postseason drought was yet another embarrassing record that the team had the misfortune of setting. Within those 19 years, the team struggled both on the ice and eventually in their heads. From 2017 to the current day, the Leafs qualified for the playoffs seven straight times. Per Steve Dangle, when they had the chance to close out a series and eliminate their opponents, they went 0-4. And in winner-go-home scenarios, when they had to win, the team went 0-5. The playoffs for the team became more of a mental battle the more they kept letting it get inside their heads. They needed a hero, someone to finally put the doubts and demons to rest, and get this team not just over the physical hump, but also the mental one. Between their seven-year stretch, the Leafs signed coveted free agent John Tavares. Tavares, just a year prior, helped the New York Islanders end an embarrassing playoff drought of their own. Headed into the 2016 playoffs, the Islanders had an abysmal 23-year playoff series winless drought, having last won a series back in 1993. After four games, the series was tied at two apiece, but a winning Game 5 double overtime gave the Isles a 3-2 series lead. In Game 6, things were all tied up until Tavares delivered the dagger. And now Hit, kicked up by Opozo. Tavares, and stop Luongo. Tavares, now, scores! John Tavares, and the 23-year wait is over! Fast forward seven years later, and in yet another tied up game six, John Tavares would take a shot, ending the Maple Leafs' embarrassing drought. Tavares keeps it going, and it's John Tavares behind the net. Coming out in front, John scores! The similarities between both of these events are actually insane, as Tavares would score both series clinching goals in Game 6 as the captain of the team and even had the same commentator deliver both of the calls. The 2004 jokes are finally over, for now at least, but if they fail to win a single game in the second round, they could start right up where they last left off. A handful of other embarrassing records were also recently broken, but in a not-so-positive way. During last offseason, one of the biggest deals of the decade occurred when Calgary would ship off Matthew Kachuk to the Florida Panthers for a package that included Mackenzie Wieger and Jonathan Huberto. This trade shocked the hockey world, and at the time, the narrative was that Calgary may have actually fleeced Florida in this deal. This was mainly due to what Calgary got back in return, as a top four defense and a winger coming off of an 115 point season seemed like an amazing haul. But come the regular season, things didn't go as planned. Huberto struggled all throughout the year to consistently produce, and come the end of his abysmal 22 23 season, Huberto would finish the year recording just 55 points, making NHL history along the way. This wasn't a good thing, however, as he would set the record for the biggest season to season point drop off in NHL history, dethroning Flyers' Bill Barber, who after an 112-point season, would also finish with 55 points. Most fans, including myself, hope to see Huberto bounce back. Since the Daryl Sutter firing, Huberto seems to feel more confident and ready to go, mentioning that he struggled under his system. Calgary also got to watch as Kachuk continued his dominance from the year prior, becoming a key member of the Panthers' organization. This trade is actually the perfect segue into our final record. Let's return to this year's Stanley Cup playoffs, as we got to witness one of the biggest upsets of all time. Bennett gets it. Here's Verhage. Shooting. He scores! Carter Verhage! 8.35 into overtime. The Panthers have done it. They've stunned the Boston Bruins.
Carter Verhage delivered a shocking blow, leaving the hockey world stunned as the Florida Panthers would take down the historic Boston Bruins after being down 3-1 in the series. This year's Bruins team looked scary, so much so that nearly everyone had them cruising to the cup final. They broke the records for most wins in the regular season and most points in the regular season, and to show just how unevenly matched this matchup seemed to look on paper, the Bruins had over 40 more points than the Panthers once the season had ended, but because of Boston's historic upset, they helped break an embarrassing record. In 2019, the Tampa Bay Lightning would tie the all-time regular season win record at 62, and would go on to get shockingly upset getting swept by the Columbus Blue Jackets. This defeat marked the only time in NHL history where a team with 62 or more wins lost in the first round. Un until the Bruins lost Sunday night. The Bruins now broke Tampa's record and decided to share the record, taking a bit of embarrassment away from Tampa Bay. However, like the Tavares coincidence, I wanted to end the video pointing out another absurd fact. After the upset, I tweeted out and mentioned that the goaltender behind both the 2019 Tampa sweep and the Game 7 overtime upset was none other than Sergei Bobrovsky. In the past five years, Bobrovsky's managed to take down two of the NHL's most historically dominant regular season teams, stopping them dead in their tracks before they could even take off. So if your team hopes to disrupt history, the key to doing so seems to be simple. Play Sergei.